We're ready to play the next conversation, but we want you to be ready to answer these questions. You asked Beth to be here around 7 o'clock, didn't you? Yes. What time is it now? It's almost 8. I wonder what happened. Hmm. She might have forgotten the time. Why don't I call and see if she's on her way? I got her voicemail, so she must not have turned on her cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. Her car could have broken down or something. Of course, she may have simply forgotten and done something else today. No, she couldn't have forgotten. I just talked to her about it yesterday. I guess we should start without her. What time was Beth asked to come? What time is it now? What does Will decide to do? Why can't Will contact Beth? What do they decide to do? After answering all of those questions, now listen to the rest of the conversation and find out what happened to Beth. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What happened? Oh, here comes Beth now. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I had an emergency. Oh, nothing serious, I hope. Well, kind of. It was Sally. Sally? Your dog? What happened? Well, I was just about to leave when she started acting strange. Then she just passed out. Oh my gosh. I panicked. I thought she had died at first. I had to rush her to the emergency clinic. But is she okay? Oh, I hope she's all right. Yeah, she's going to be fine. The vet said it was some kind of virus. So he gave her an injection and I had to leave her with him. I'll go by later and pick her up. Oh, but guess what? What? She's going to have puppies. Congratulations. You're going to be a grandmother. <laughs> very funny, Bill. Yeah, Bill. Very funny. Hi. Hello, Rosa. Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, so, so, because I sick. Uh, mm -hmm. The flu. The flu. Okay, you have the flu. Sorry to hear that. Mm. Are you taking medicine, Rosa? Uh, um, no, la tarina. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. yeah it's typical hello sandra and gladys how are you hello teacher um uh, well uh, today i i have a camera okay because i'm i mean i'm connected by computer my cell phone is almost dead Ah, uh, okay. No problem, Gladys. I understand. Okay. Good. And Sandra, how are you? Okay. I think it's difficult to hear you with the internet. The internet is very... Too, 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 too. Um, but I heard that you are alive. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you want, Sandra, turn off your camera. Um, maybe it helps you with the internet. That way you don't have such problems to, to listen clearly. Okay? There you uh, go. I like Mm. So, so we still have a little difficulty, but we try. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here. Today, we are going to go ahead and continue unit three. We're going to be looking at models. If we remember yesterday, models and in the past, like could, should, might, may, these are the ideas of models. They express possibilities, um, permissions, or obligations. And today we're going to learn how to use them in the past tense.
Here we go with 3.1. We're ready to play the next conversation, but we want you to be ready to answer these questions. You asked Beth to be here around 7 o'clock, didn't you? Yes. What time is it now? It's almost 8. I wonder what happened. Hmm. She might have forgotten the time. Why don't I call and see if she's on her way? I got her voicemail, so she must not have turned on her cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. Her car could have broken down or something. Of course, she may have simply forgotten and done something else today. No, she couldn't have forgotten. I just talked to her about it yesterday. I guess we should start without her. Okay, so the first thing is, let's take a look at the conversation and make sure that it's clear. It's okay, all of the things that they're talking about? Yes, teacher. Yes? Good. So yes. here, what are we looking at? We're looking at the models. What are those models? Remember, words like could, should, might, may, would. And here you can see we have a lot of them. For example, we have the word might, and we have over here the word could, and we have other ones, may. But if you notice, with all of them, we have the word have. Have is how we use it in the past tense. If you want to use might in the past tense is might have. If you want to use may in the past tense, may have. If you want to use could or couldn't in the past tense is have. It's clear how to use the past tense? Yes. Good. So, yes. Excellent. Always have and the verb in the past participle. That's going to be the most important. I just talked to her about it yesterday. I guess we should start without her. What time was Beth asked to come? What time is it now? What does Will decide to do? Why can't Will contact Beth? What do they decide to do? After answering all of those questions, now listen to the rest of the conversation and find out what happened to Beth. All right. So before we listen, let's answer the question. What time was Beth asked to come to the party? Around seven. Seven. And what time is it now? Eight. And so what does Will decide to do? Okay, let's listen again. I see you're having some problems understanding. After these questions. You asked Beth to be here around 7 o'clock, didn't you? Yes. What time is it now? It's almost 8. I wonder what happened. Hmm. She might have forgotten the time. Why don't I call and see if she's on her way? I got her voicemail, so she must not have turned on her cell phone. I hope she didn't have a problem on the road. Her car could have broken down or something. Of course, she may have simply forgotten and done something else today. No, she couldn't have forgotten. I just talked to her about it yesterday. I guess we should start without her. What time was Beth asked to come? What time? So what does Will decide to do? Uh, began with, with the person. Okay. Without the person. Correct. He began. He decides to begin without the person. Very good. And why can't Will contact Beth? Because her cell phone is is turned off. 
Exactly. The cell phone is turned off. It goes directly to voicemail. Exactly. So in the end, what do they do? What do they decide to do? It start with without her. Exactly. Now let's listen and find out what happened to Beth. What was Beth's problem? What do they decide to do? After answering all of those questions, now listen to the rest of the conversation and find out what happened to Beth. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What happened? Oh, here comes Beth now. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I had an emergency. Oh, nothing serious, I hope. Well, kind of. It was Sally. Sally? Your dog? What happened? Well, I was just about to leave when she started acting strange. Then she just passed out. Oh my gosh. I panicked. I thought she had died at first. I had to rush her to the emergency clinic. But is she okay? Oh, I hope she's all right. Yeah, she's going to be fine. The vet said it was some kind of virus. So he gave her an injection and I had to leave her with him. I'll go by later and pick her up. Oh, but guess what? What? She's going to have puppies. Congratulations. You're going to be a grandmother. <laughs> very funny, Bill. Yeah, Bill. Very funny. Okay. So what happened? Why couldn't she go? Uh, the, the person has an inconvenience with, with her puppy. Mm -hmm. And what happened with the puppy? I didn't understand what what happened, but I I remember that she said he went to the hospital with with her, mm -hmm. and and they put some in, injection to the puppy. Okay. But I, I I I couldn't understand which what what the problem why she decided to left it in the hospital. Uh, okay. The, the teacher, yes. excuse me. I think the problem with the <coughs> with the puppies was the puppy was brightening. Correct. They say that yes. that the puppy or that that dog was going to have babies. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. That was that was the problem the problem, the main problem with the puppy. Mm -hmm. And that's why they stayed in the hospital to make sure everything yes. was okay. Okay. All right. Very good. Excellent. But, uh, yes. but uh, I, I know that was the result what happened with the puppy. But at the beginning, she said something about the puppy, but that um, expression, that is the expression that I didn't understand. She said she had some kind of infection. Mm. Mm -hmm. And they mm. gave her an injection. So they gave the injection originally for the infection. They didn't know. And they did this, some exams to see what the problem was. And in the exams, they discovered that she was going to be or she was going to have puppies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Okay. So now, now that we have it, what are we going to do? In WhatsApp, we have the conversation with our partners. We're going to practice the conversation. We want to make sure that we practice both people. So one time we're going to practice the man, and then one time we're going to practice the woman. Okay. So let's try. Okay. I see someone. Oh, okay, Gladys is having a little bit of problem with the internet. No problem. Okay, so let's try with our partners. One time, the man, one time, the woman. 
practice the conversations, and then we make sure that it's clear. Focus on fluency and pronunciation. Fluency and pronunciation to practice. This time we'll study past models for degrees of certainty. Stay and find out what this is about. Past models for degrees of certainty. It's almost certain. She must have left already. She must not have turned on her cell phone. It's not possible. She couldn't have been at home. It's possible. Past models for certainty. We may use must or couldn't have. We use must or must not have when we are almost certain. 